Hello and thank you for taking the time to watch this series of short videos that aim to give parents and carers an overview of the support that's available throughout Year 11 for your child. In this series you'll hear from Mr Player, your Director of Learning, who will talk about pastoral support including the Form Tutor Programme and academic support via resources, lessons and additional classes. We'll hear from Mrs Gray, who's our Careers Independent Advice and Guidance Officer, and she'll talk about post-16 pathways. We'll also hear from Mrs Harvey, who'll talk to you about Unifrog, um, and additional post-16 support in the school. And you'll hear from our English, Maths and Science leads, discussing the support on offering these subject areas and the best way to support at home and their recommendations for independent working. And finally, you'll hear from Mrs Andrews, and she'll be discussing wellbeing support that we offer to Year 11s, both in, time, um, in terms of clubs and societies, and also the specific wellbeing plans. Our key message really to everyone now is well done for everything that you've achieved so far. It has been an incredibly different 18 months um, and students have adapted so well to all these changes. It has been brilliant last term to see the, the students engaging with their work experience, their clubs and fixtures um, and, and getting back into school life as normal. We also had the drama performances and the Duke of Edinburgh and also a number of students still involved in leadership roles. GCSEs are one of the end points for students in their high school journey and for several subjects the end of formal study. English, maths, PE, science, well all of those have been studied since year one at primary school, citizenship since um, year nine and the option subjects, most of them from primary school as well. Students have already learnt so much and have such a great depth of knowledge that they should feel really confident about this final stretch of their journey. The Year 10 exams have allowed our teachers the opportunity to map where our students are um, in terms of their um, knowledge and their application of that knowledge. And currently, they are planning their lessons to support mastery for all students in time for their mock exams after the um, October half term. The purpose of the mock exams is always to support us understanding how we can support students making progress. However, in the past two years, mock exams have been the foundation from which the teacher assessment grades have been formulated for the GCSEs. We have a second series of mocks planned for the week after February half term, and that's to ensure that all papers have been completed at least once in full exam conditions. We have, an we, have, we have had information from the exam boards on, about how elements of exam courses have been adapted to support students and teachers to reflect periods of time of remote learning that's been encountered. If further adaptations are made, we will of course share these. Throughout this year, we'll support the progress of your child with you as a parent, and also students will, able to, will be able to see that on the new Bromcom student app. This term will be released on Friday the 15th of October and Friday the 10th of December um, assessment points. The report on the 15th of October will include predicted grades to support children with their post-16 choices. On the 10th of exam, um, December it will be mock exam grades. Our parents and carers consultation will continue on teams to allow for those more meaningful and private conversations to support learning and progress. For year 11s these will be the week commencing the 18th of October to support preparation for the mocks. Several subjects are already offering support to individuals at lunchtime and after school. We've also opened our library every day um, in the evenings to offer a quiet space for homework and independent learning. Students more than ever are now using their independent learning schools skills. If your child is struggling, then please do let us know. It's also an opportunity to remind children about how they worked best through remote learning. Was it using lesson platforms like Oak Academy with a teacher or was it in short bursts of studies? Was making flashcards something that really helped them or, or was it actually writing the essays? Did they work best when they had a timetable and rewards at the end? Review what they were already doing in their independent learning time both through remote learning and in their preparation for the mocks and use that as the stepping stone for where they're going to go now. As well as the academic focus, there's still huge amounts on offer for our Year 11s. Fixtures and sports have resumed, music lessons and groups, head teachers council, D of E, No Outsiders, and all sorts of other things, including STEM, Family Reef, and Phoenix. Mr Player will be working with a group of students throughout this year, um, organising end of school events with things such as the yearbook and the um, celebration at the end of term. We all recognise the importance of our young people continuing to pursue their interests outside of academic study and keeping themselves active to support a healthy lifestyle. 
throughout this year, please do continue to be in touch with us. If there are concerns or areas of struggle that you feel we can support with, please do let us know. Similarly, if your child needs help with an application or a reference, just be in touch. Many of you will have strong relationships with staff already, but please don't hesitate to be in touch if situations change or you feel there's areas that we could support. Everyone will leave FRAM at the end of this year with a different set of grades and a different destination for post-16. What we want is for all the students to leave with positive memories of their time at school, a confident outlook for their future and a belief in the FRAM motto that anything's possible. Thank you so much for listening and if you have further questions please do join us for our Teams drop-in.